All right, guys, so today we are making a trash to treasure project of a little sheet cake for the dollhouse. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this is to make. All right, so we're making a sponge cake today for our Trash to Treasure project, and this is made of a sponge. So it's literally a sponge cake. This particular sponge is from this bag of 24 assorted cosmetic sponges. I think this cost me like a dollar or two. I got two or three bags of those a few years ago at uh, Big Lots. But you can get cosmetic sponges anywhere that sells makeup. So the first thing we need to do is I need to see if I have something I can write on this with because I need to draw a box. So I'm going to cut this. I'm really, yeah, pencil works. I wasn't sure if pencil worked and I forgot to grab my pen. What we want is an inch by three-fourths of an inch. And these are inexpensive. Um, and you can get a bunch of cakes out of, like here we'd get two out of this little one. You saw there were, several, there were lots of sponges in that package. And because it's sponge, it just cuts really nicely with a pair of scissors. And if you're not trying to do this on camera, you'll probably get yours cut straighter than I'm getting mine. Um, but, yeah. So there's our cake. And we can make another one, like I said, or you can make some smaller square ones. So now we need to frost our cake. So I'm going to get my caulking out, and then I'll be right back. All right, so let's uh, squeeze out. Now my caulk, I'll show you what this is in just a second. Mine's gotten really thick because the lid came off in the drawer. This is just the same white... DAP fast dry acrylic latex caulk plus silicone that I use for frosting a lot on this channel. And then I've got some burnt umber acrylic paint. Hopefully I've got enough. This is going to take quite a bit because I want to make chocolate frosting. Let's see what we got. I prefer tube acrylic paints to color the caulk because it, um, the caulking because it, um, it doesn't thin it down as much. If you put in enough craft acrylic, you can do it with craft acrylic, but when you do, it loses a lot of its thickness, and then you end up with frosting that doesn't really look like frosting. That's a decent color. I think that'll do. All right. So now we're going to frost our cake. I'm trying to keep it off the bottom. I'm trying to just do the sides. My under camera, yeah, kind of, sort of. This is actually the second time I've frosted a cake because I totally messed up the first one. I dropped it. So I had to start over. And since the side towards my thumb is the one that has no frosting on it, or very little. And you can make any color frosting you want. You could make pink or yellow, or you could leave it white, or whatever color your dolls like their frosting. So we're going to let our little cake dry, and when that's dry, I'll be back, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so this has had time to get pretty dry. Now we're going to make an attempt at cutting this. So I just got a regular craft knife. I'm not sure what the best way to cut it is. Let's try the scissors. Hey, it worked. So, 
Now the dolls can serve their cake. Let's cut an individual slice off. And there we go. We have a sliced sponge cake. And it really looks like a cake. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's project. It's an awful lot of fun. Let me zoom the camera in so you can see this a little bit better. Let's see, get this underneath the camera. There we go. So you see it looks, it's got the texture of a really good like angel food or sponge cake. And this would look incredible in your dollhouse. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. Be sure and check the blog post. There'll be photos over there that are better quality than I can put on the video. If you haven't found my Facebook group, I'd love to have you join me over there. If you've enjoyed this project, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. And also, if you'd like to help me to make more videos to bring to you, check out my Patreon page. The link for that is also in the description box, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.